Thank you, Nick. Well, a hate crime investigation in Queens after a pride flag was stolen from a home. It comes after pride flags were vandalized, of course, at the Stonewall mm -hmm. National Monument two different times just this week. Fox's Antoine Lewin Lewis joins us live from Fresh Meadows. And Antoine, you actually got a chance to talk to the homeowner. Yes, we did, Stephen Natasha. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. The homeowner says that they feel violated, he and his husband. And we're also learning that this has apparently happened twice before. It's been a couple days, but I'm still angry. Richard Marzullo describes the emotions he's feeling just days after his home was vandalized. Around 7.30 Tuesday night, Marzullo's ring cam caught two young men walk up to his house and violently snatch down the LGBTQIA pride flag from the front of his home in Fresh Meadows, Queens, and then run off. I've rewatched the video of this happening again. Um, you know, I've worked with, we're working with the NYPD and the detectives on that, you know, sharing all that information. But every time I see it, it's not, it doesn't wear off at all. This is not the first time this has happened. Two years ago, Marzullo's home surveillance camera caught a suspect walk up to the house, violently take down the pride flag, slam it to the ground, and then walk away. And last year, Marzullo's 88-year-old neighbor, Rita Merlis, actually ran after the suspects in this video when she caught them removing the flag from his front porch. Why? Because of what they did. I mean, it infuriated me. I mean, I'm, that, I'm very, I'm aggressive that way. They held for their friends. Friendly, they, they, you could be happier, and they don't bother anybody. This is definitely a hate thing. This incident comes after two other anti-gay incidents that happened in the city in a week. On Thursday, pride flags were discovered taken down and destroyed outside the Stonewall National Monument at Christopher Park in Greenwich Village. A similar incident happened last weekend. The NYPD Hate Crimes Task Force is investigating all three cases. Police released images of the two they say vandalized Marzullo and his husband Dave's home. When asked if he's ready to forgive the perpetrators, Marzullo spoke frankly. In my mind, it's not something that you could forgive. That's something that justice needs to be served, a lesson needs to be learned, um, an example has to be made. So as you come back to us live, Roy is giving you a look at the flag. So the one that was there has been replaced by this one. This was the one that was vandalized and taken down a couple of years ago. Police are looking for anyone with information that can identify the two young men that they believe are responsible for what happened here. Call Crime Stoppers. That number is 1-800-577-TIPS. One other thing, Steve and Natasha, the neighbors here are pretty, pretty tight. Don't mess with Rita. She will run after you. Back inside. Town. No, I noticed that. I love them. Great people there. All right. Thanks, Antoine. Well